It's time for another edition of Sundays with Serby for his Q&A this week. Steve Serby talked to longtime sports broadcaster and college football analyst Lee Corso, the New York Post sports columnist legend. Steve Serby himself joins me now. Steve, how are you doing this week? Great, Dex. How about you? Doing well. Another week. I get to talk to you. Always good. Steve Lee Corso. He's been an analyst on ESPN's College Game Day since it started back in 87. So I loved in your Q&A that you asked him something that he's got a ton of experience with, and that's putting on mascot heads. How much does he enjoy doing that? Oh, he loves it. It's uh, part of his DNA now. He, he's done about uh, 400 of them or so. His very first one was in 1996, Brutus Buckeye, and it just took off from there. His favorite one is the Oregon Duck, who he compares to the San Diego Chicken. But he gets in trouble a lot, especially when he picks a visiting team uh, with in front of a rabid fan base. Um, he uh, he needs a little extra security in those cases. Uh, but but it's a fun thing. He's found his niche, and um, he made his picks yesterday. And uh, in the Q and A, as you'll see, he picks Ohio State over Alabama, and he also likes Georgia and surprisingly Utah in the Final Four. And uh, his pick for the Heisman is Caleb Williams. We should be a little bit disappointed, Steve, that he did not pick our, my Pitt Panthers at your uh, Ohio University. I thought he was going to go that way, but he did not. A little disappointed. Yeah, that, that, I'm, I, that is disappointing. Um, you know, the Bobcats are, uh, haven't had a, a team to threaten for a national title, probably since I was there. We had a good team back when I was there in the dark ages. But... Uh, <laughs> But the Pitt Panthers, hey, looks like Mr. Pickett may start for the Steelers. So there's that. We could, it could I, Listen, I love the Pitt love whenever we can get it. So we'll see about that. Now, Lee Corso, he clearly has got a love and passion for sports broadcasting, doing as long as he's done it, uh, Steve. So do you get any sense of him wanting to slow down? How much longer does he want to do this? I think Lee is one of those guys that they're, they're going to have to rip the sport jacket off him. He's. Uh, he told me he's 86. He maybe conveniently forgot the fact that he turned 87 at the beginning of August, but that's okay. He had a good line. He said the only people that want to be 87 are 86. So I guess the only people that want to be 88 are 87 now. But kudos to him. 2009, he suffered a stroke. It really limited him. He prayed a lot, and he has shown tremendous courage and tenacity and perseverance to continue to do what he loves. Uh, and this is a guy, a smart guy, by the way, went to Florida State with Burt Reynolds. He used to send Burt Reynolds out as bait so he could get a date, even if they were ugly, which I can relate to. But anyway, um, he also tried to recruit Joe Namath back when he was quarterback's coach at Maryland. And it, unbelievably, Im imagine how his career might have changed if Namath had the grades at that time and Lee Corso was his quarterback's coach. Corso, of course, told me that Dick Shiner was the guy they eventually got. Shiner was a, turned out to be a real good quarterback, but obviously not a Hall of Famer like Broadway Joe. Yeah, interesting how things change. Well, look, I'm hoping that Lee Corso... Wait a minute, Dex, Dex, You got a prop. Dex, you have a prop done. for me. Here we go. I'm not okay, done. I'm sorry. Ah... Look at you, ready to play with the helmet and everything. You're college football ready, but why does that not uh, have your alma mater's logo on the side? Looks like you have Purdue. Is that a Purdue helmet I see? Well, my brother-in-law, Gary Weingarten, looked up uh, fan heads. It's Purdue, yes. It's not Purdue, Purdue Pete, but it's the best we could do for a, for a Boilermaker, I guess. But uh, uh, he, he got it for me. My wife assembled it for me because I can't do these things. And um, how's it look, by the way? It looks, I, looks like a perfect fit to me. I think it looks like a perfect fit, and it's better than that mask you had on a couple of weeks ago. I think it's a lot better than that. It's a really good. It's job. also it's also it's also better w w with without my face. Uh, no, 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 no. Everybody wants to see the face of Steve Serby, and everybody wants to read the Q and A's that Steve Serby does every week. There's his face, Steve. Thank you as always. I thought it was going to be another week where we didn't have a prop, but you managed to surprise me as usual. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate you, man. Hey, Dex, thank you. My pleasure. Thanks.